Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today I'll show you how to add a volume knob to your media items in Reaper. In other DAWs such as Cubase or Pro Tools, this is referred to as clip gain, and this gives you a way to turn the volume of an item up or down pre-fader. Let's take a look. By default, Reaper has a line at the top of each of your media items that allows you to turn down the volume of a clip. It's a little bit hard to target, but if you increase the size of an item and move your cursor along the top edge, you'll see the cursor changes. Now if I left click and drag, I can turn down the volume of this media item, but I can't turn it up. At least I can't turn it up above where it originally started. We can change this by clicking on Options, Preferences, and going to the Media section under the Appearance tab. At the bottom of this dialog, we have Item Volume Handles, which as we discussed, the default is 0 dB at the top of the item. We can change that to where 0 dB is at the center of the item and apply. Now we have a line in the middle of our item and we can turn down but we can also turn up. That's a little bit better than the default but I still prefer the knobs. Go back to Options and Preferences, Appearance and Media, and let's turn on the option for Volume Knobs and just disable the item volume handles and apply. Now our item has a volume knob at the upper left corner and we can turn that up or down. If we split the item, every place that we split creates a new separate item that has its own volume knob. Again, these adjustments are all pre-faders, so this is a pretty good way if you need to turn up or down some things before they hit your effects and faders. I hope this has helped. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel by clicking on the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee. In other DAWs such as Pro Tools or Cubase, this is referred to as clip g Dang it! Freaking phone. Gotta put these things on silent before I start filming too. There, now it's on vibrate. That's good enough.